All right, guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Today, I have a theory, I have a griddle hack that the three of us are gonna test. So you've seen us do uh, what we call, you know, shallow frying or pan frying on the griddle. You've also seen us do deep frying. We made some potato chips. Both of them work pretty well, but I have a theory that I wanna test. It may work, it may not, but I'm gonna test trying to do like a medium fry. So not necessarily two inches of oil and not necessarily just squirting oil on the grill. I wanna do like- In between. In between. <laughs> Something in between. In between. <laughs> yeah. Cause the problem with doing a full deep fry, two inches of oil, is it's real tough to keep the oil hot. Yes, and getting rid of the pain as well. Yes, and the problem with doing less like, squirting oil on the griddle is that, you know, stuff that's a little taller, you can't get the side. Can't get the side. So stick around. We're going to test my theory. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. We'll know by the end of the day. And Nate's theory night. It's a really good test because it's very chilly right now with a pretty strong yes, breeze. It's cold. It's, we got 30 mile an hour winds and what is it? 40. 40 degrees? It was 40 with the sun and now it's probably, uh, it's probably dropped because it's yeah. about 6 o'clock. So. All right, Look so for the pregnant guy. <laughs> so here's the theory: we have all the burners on high. I'm going to put enough oil in here, where it starts to pool somewhere. It really doesn't matter where it pools, because wherever it pools is going to be our deep spot. So in this case, it looks like it's left pooling side. to his left. Do you need two arms or one to do that? Yeah, <laughs> two is always helpful. Left and back. So I'm going to fill this basically till we get to like the deepest part, maybe just a little bit less than a half inch. Probably about there. Right, so half a bottle there. That's about half, too bad. half a little, whatever this is. Yeah. And now we're going to see how long it takes for that to get hot because... Timer, Jeff? I can see it. It's already starting to get hot. Actually, let's turn these two burners down and leave these two burners on high. Don't touch it. You can actually... Yeah. See, you can, you can see, see the heat in yeah. the bottom, yeah. you know? So my theory is by using less oil, it'll be easier to keep it hot. And since it's like 32 and windy, right. it's a good test. So it's been probably eight to 10 minutes and I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of 330 on the oil. Oh, we got like- With a very brisk breeze. Right now the breeze just stopped for yeah. just one second. Yeah. Which I think is, I think that's hot enough for us to try something. So. Well, you should talk about what you're expecting, right? So the heat. So what I'm expecting, well, what I, my theory is that because the oil is thinner, you are going to have to roll the food around in it, but you're not going to be constantly squirting and you'll get sort of a little closer to a, to a deep fry than constantly drenching the griddle with oil, you know? But even throwing in these furrows and we're not expecting a huge temperature drop because, yeah, because it's only partial of the cheese stick or whatever touching. Should we do it? I feel like you need tongs. No. <laughs> They're right here. <laughs> yeah, so normally, like Chris is saying, normally if you, you deep fry, you drop this into a couple of inches of oil and you drop a whole bunch in. But right. here, it's sort of in between. We're gonna do like the bottom edge, yeah. right? So, I don't know. We're, we'll shooting, see. we're shooting for halves, right? That looks good. I see it's sizzle. sizzle. I'll, I see I'll sizzle. Throw, I'll throw them in there. Just do like, let's do three. Three, that's it? To start, and we'll we'll move them down. Wanna do one at the far corner, far end? And do one, do one here. All right. So what my theory with this is, as these get brown and delicious and crispy, you can take them off and keep them on the griddle. They'll stay hot and crispy. And you got that on low, right? And we got this on low. Yep. So they'll stay hot and crispy. So you, we're gonna fry in batches. So if we were like camping, we'd be two of us on two griddles frying in batches. You can right? roll with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, that seemed to have dropped the temp more than we thought, Chris. Let me check it. Maybe if I go into the deeper oil. Yeah. No, that looks good in the deeper oil. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're, that looks we're, about right. We're good. We're 330. Yeah, 330. And rising. Yeah. 340. Yeah, 320, 325. So it did, it did It a did drop bit. that. It did, just that area. So good to know. So don't put too much in, is right. what it comes down to, which makes sense because we have less thermal mass yeah. with a shallower oil. Still sizzling. It's pretty good for 20 degrees out here today. Okay. Yeah. It's getting colder every time we bring it up. The negative 30 degrees out. Oh, that breeze is brutal. All right, so, so far, it's working out pretty well. Uh, and how you tell when cheese sticks are done is when the cheese just starts to bubble out of them, like right Turtle. there. Turtle bump the tip. Perfect. Right when it starts to <laughs> pop. But it's, I mean, they're definitely nice and brown and crispy. The temp, I don't know, guys, what do you think? As far as oh, the oil temp? 
This one's done. Uh -huh. See, it's starting to split. Yep. Yeah, that guy's done. You talking about the oil temp? No, I mean, what do you think this compared to just doing the shallow fry of constantly rolling and squirting oil on the griddle? Uh, it, it, it's working. It's definitely, it's really, a, this is quite the challenge because the, the outside temp, I mean, it, it really is, that breeze is, Got to be taking a lot of temperature away, but it's working good. It's definitely working. By the good. way, today's opening day for the Red Sox I'm in this weather. I'm gonna right. shut off the fire burner. Um, yeah, might as well. Yeah. Less of a mess for sure. You're keeping it all in yeah. the pan. And we're also, I, I, I feel like we're not just constantly squirting and having it absorb. You want to grab some of the? Uh, the next up, we're gonna try buffalo chicken fingers. Tenders. Tenders. Well, start, start them in this end, in the shallow end. Still got a sizzle. So the other thing with this is. Because you're putting it on a hot surface, the oil stays runny, so more oil sort of drips off. Yeah, which yeah. is good. Gets a little yeah, crispy. Which is good. Yeah. Oh, this guy's done. Starting to see him split. It looks pretty neat. Looks beautiful. Where's your tomato sauce and your. Uh... <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> that ain't planned for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought of that, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we can find some tomato sauce somewhere on the, on the circle. Look at this guy. This guy's. It's like, ah! Alien coming Working out. its way out. And that's still, we, you know, the temperature has not dropped. The temperature of the oil has not dropped enough to have it stop yeah. sizzling. So, yeah. Which is really all that matters because that way it doesn't just suck up the oil. Right. I'll say this. I mean, it is, it is certainly slow going. You're not going to do... Yeah. Well, only because of the weather we're having, though. Well, that's right. true. If it were 90 <laughs> degrees out, it might be a different story. Yeah. But I, I, at this point, can't see dropping in 20 cheese sticks and having it go okay. And realistically, the best part is the fact that you're not inside your house. Right. But this is, I mean, look at this. This is actually working yeah. pretty good. Yeah, because it looks it, good. Because, you know, it, it smells like oil when you're, when oh. you're, when you're frying. For another like, day. Uh, for at least a yeah. day. And yeah. the mess. And if it spits anywhere, it makes a huge mess. Jeff's taking over and... Uh, Again, against my will. <laughs> Flip those. They look, they look ready. These, ooh, oh, nice you even color. got a little burn date on that one. Ah. A little late on that flip. In this temperature, we got Imagine that. Something yeah. Burning. Look at that. All Holy right. crap. Throw some I thought you were kidding. No. So, we're going to do the onion rings now? Try a couple? So, I wanted to do the onion rings, Jeff, because onion rings can get kind of tall. Yeah. And that's a tough thing to shower fry because you have like that edge, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. Still got a sizzle. By the way, guys, I ate one of the cheese sticks. Perfect. <laughs> tasted like it came right out of a fry later. Did it taste as good as my cheese sticks? Though? Tasted, di I'm not gonna say as good or worse or better. Tasted different. Nice. That's not the answer I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, you know. All right, better. You don't always yeah. get what you want, Jeff. <laughs> oh, you know what, it tasted better, Jeff. Boy, you're really testing, huh? Yeah, I wanna see it. Uh, go in the About 200. Really? You dropped that much? Uh, yeah, no, it's climbing. 256. Okay. So, yeah, it takes a while. You my mind. Still get a sizzle. It's not two seconds. Yeah. So, the other thing I was doing is like moving the tray around to the hot spots on the griddle because it pulls the heat out of the steel. Jeff, it's so cold you can use your hand to move that. I don't know if you. I don't. I like to I'm see dying. Jeff fry. I, I got like four four layers on, five layers on. I got a base layer. I got. I don't know if you guys can see in the background, but Nate's deck is very close to being finished, and look how good it looks. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. Seven yeah. months later, it's almost done. Yeah. Once Getting we get there. these lights going, and it's gonna look, it looks awesome. No, I'm glad you're happy for you. I'm very happy for you. Still more to do, but. Sure, we'll spend many a nights out here now, between the fire and right. the jacuzzi. Eventually, it will get there. Cigars. Cigars. All right, up next is Chris. All right, so here's where we're at. My question to Chris and Jeff is, well, so I just whacked my mic. <laughs> I think we, I think this is, I, I like it. I think it's a success. Looking at how much food we've fried so far, and we haven't fried a ton, and it's taken a little bit of time, but looking at the food we've fried and the level of oil in the pan, we haven't dropped much, at, pretty much at all, barely, almost nothing. Yeah, barely anything. Which tells me that the oil is hot enough that it's not being absorbed into the food. Right, so you're gonna get a, that's a, a crisper, better fry. Now, the question for Chris and Jeff is, do you prefer this method, or do you prefer putting all this food on the griddle and squirting oil around it every minute and a half? I would never do onion rings that way. Yeah. Just well, that's never. the well, that's never. What those, about the non-onion rings? What about the chicken fingers? Those the chicken fingers, sticks? the way the how thick they are, I would never do that either. Um, yeah, especially those. Those are they're thick. Yeah. And yeah. now we're doing chicken nuggets for the kids. Heart shaped. <laughs> so what's so let's let's <laughs> give them. <laughs> I didn't notice they were heart shaped when I bought them. Oh. <laughs> the guys, go in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
don't even know they made these. Yeah. So, so yeah. This... What do we think? Is it worth it? Not worth it? Is it kind of worth it? Here's my take. I think it's worth it. Maybe not in the winter when it's very cold out. Good point. You know, I think it'd be Fair. a lot easier to manage it, but I like how the oil, you're not constantly squirting oil everywhere. Yeah. And you have to really be on top of it when you're doing it. This with, is easier from that regard. Much easier. Oh yeah. It's like put much, it in and it's just contained. Wait. It's right there. Without a doubt. And when it's done, you get to put it to the side and it can sit there. Yeah, I might use a rack. I, mean, I might use a rack on, on my, if I did it. I'd use a rack and let it drip dry. You know, any what, oil, which is by the way, not a lot. Well, what's really nice though is that this is any of the oil that was on there actually drips off as it gets hotter. Yeah. It drips off. Right. And it's like these are nice. Nice and crisp. Nice and crispy. Mm, yeah. That's gonna be hot. Who needs an air fryer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Health concerns yes. aside. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So this is still uh, sizzling, even though we put a decent amount in there, so. Of the, of the heart nuggets. Yeah. Here's your All thumbnail. Right. Why don't you take a picture of the heart nuggets and yeah. the oil? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, you got two hands, take a picture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So Chris's opinion was to sum it up. I like it. I like it. You I like it? I would do it. You would do it. Okay. I would definitely do it. Anything to keep this outside of the house, I'm all in. And the fact that it's, it's not using a ton of oil, you don't have to throw out a deep fry, right. you yeah. know, gallon you of oil. Have to fill right. a gallon and of oil. if you're in a rush, this isn't going to be your best friend. But when are we ever yeah, in a rush when we're around the griddle? Time. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole that's point the of whole cooking, is just griddle. to relax, Absolutely. hang out. Yes. So what I'm hearing yes. is drink, share yes. hot, drink. <laughs> share hard. Yeah. Good. Not perfect, but definitely a viable alternative. Absolutely. I like it. I think I would, for me, I would, I would probably do this if I have people over and there's no rush to get food out, yeah. you know? Talk yeah. around the griddle. Talk around the griddle. Everybody can take turns flipping it. You know, we can watch Jeff flip it too early like he's doing right now. That type of thing. <laughs> Avoid that annoying family member, you know? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm busy. Sorry, I'm I gotta I, check I, the I gotta cookie check sheet the, yeah. with the uh, oil on it. The true test would be chicken wings. Do you have chicken wings? I do not have chicken oh, wings. Come on. All right. So anyways, <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely interesting for us. Uh, I think this was a learning experience. I like it. Yeah. I'll do it again. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Success, even in this cold weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice job, Nate. The one-armed guy. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you on the next one. See you on the next one.